Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalama Lawson. Coming up on today's bulletin, a Harara woman forgives the man who killed her children. Chitungwiza residents make the most of the sewage crisis. A Catholic theatre group aims to teach young people key skills. And in sport, it's a bad day at the office for Zimbabwe's young rugby players. Could you ever forgive someone who took away your children? A woman in Harare has decided to forgive the man who killed her children in a tragic road accident. Robert Tafumane found out why. A Harare mother is forgiven the man who killed her two daughters and left her son permanently disabled in a traffic accident. Her children were hit by the man who lost control of his car in a tragic accident that occurred five days after the death of the woman's husband. ATV caught up with Junior Gwene, whose rare act of forgiveness has touched the hearts of many following the death of their daughters, Claudencia, aged 18, and Caroline, 20. Having lost three close people within days, how could a person who has endured such tragedies manage to forgive the men who killed their children? Robert Mapara, the killer who saved his time for capable homicide, said this was just unbelievable. Junior even begged the courts to free the motorists who killed their children, but the courts ignored her plea. She ended up visiting him in prison. Despite the tragic circumstances, Gwene believes strongly that forgiveness is a very important part of the healing process. She is currently running a ministry for orphans in Mbare and Epworth suburbs. Reporting for ATV, Robert Abmane, Arare, Zimbabwe. Over the years, Chitungwiza's sewage disposal crisis has angered residents, but now some have stopped complaining as they have found a way of benefiting from the sewage produced. Jeffrey Moyo reports. What has cast it is forcing some residents in Chitungwiza's Unit J area to use untreated sewage water for gardening, exposing them to serious health risks. ATV caught up with some urban farmers who are now channeling sewage water from best pipes and homes to water the vegetables and seedlings. sewage <laughs> No ma shanti that no itama busy do gana pakudi tiza to kwasa kuta yaku farm bisane ridge shingo siya unyoro chet kana arimwe zuzeleta sima vegetables but kana arisema seedlings to kwasa udi tiza na uti nongo no shanti planda shino chika rapa mo ishu songo ano imu mvrea kasi arini mvrea shanti skaipa. Wells have dried up, leaving the farmers with little or no option except to turn to untreated sewage water. Ah, nyama matsime no tibetera kwasu. Because in Varajo, Irpa, do you know that Tanga would from September to October to November? But in December up to the following year to August, that's the chance of Matsime. 
Some of the urban farmers said they found raw affluent to be useful in the growing vegetables. Water shortage is a negative impact on the vegetable marketing business, eroding farmers' earnings. transplant <laughs> It is a matter of time before consumers will be forced to rethink on buying vegetables from these gardens using sewage water. Reporting for ATV, I'm Jeffrey Moyo in Chitungwiza, Zimbabwe. A Harare-based religious theatre group has started performances to teach young people about social and economic problems that they may face. Jairo Saunyama gives us more. I love you. A Mabuku Catholic Theatre Group has embarked on youth outreach activities to entertain and raise awareness on contemporary issues affecting young people. The group, which comprises of members from the St. Fidelis Church, is set to perform at a church congress to be held in Musami before touring the country. ATV caught up with the group rehearsing at their church in Mabuku. Uh, Mutambo wa Murgona watukita uikuda kutitiwe tinueza kutitisa vechi diki kuti Vangi wa rano wakashu bata Nukua zitisa shikara kutizo Mupenyi kune zime pufungwa zime kushanyira But unofana ngori mwana are very strong Ano terira zimu zwa kanaka Anda ugara upenyi wa kanaka Nondo zimu zwa wano zitisa kwa nichita chao kutizo Vawe wana wano ukana washita wakomana Ngawe wana ita wakomana Zuripache na zusina kuvanza the group seeks, among other things, to encourage young people to respect their bodies and desist from sexual immorality. The group performs a drama titled My Boyfriend with a Satanic Heart, which focuses on Christian youth. Social problems facing the youth in Zimbabwe include drugs, sex, alcohol, unwanted pregnancies, violence, HIV and AIDS, and unemployment. Efforts by this Catholic theater group, though small, can help to sensitize society about the challenges facing the youth as well as giving them coping strategies. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe's under-19 rugby squad failed to impress after losing to Namibia in a final match played in Harare. Melody Mukuti was there for ATV News. Zimbabwe's young Sebos lost to bitter rivals Namibia in the final of the Junior Africa Rugby Cup played at Prince Edward School over the weekend. The Jubilee Namibian coach told ATV News that they had to work extra hard to beat the defending champions Zimbabwe. Uh, good structural rugby, but we beat them actually uh, um, with our back line uh, because they concentrate a lot on our, on our forwards and I just uh, move a little bit my ball a little bit further than, than, than normally and uh, we had our runs in the midfield. The captain of the Namibian side said they will now focus on preparations for the Junior World Cup. It's tough. Rugby is always tough. As you know, it is. It's a 15 man sport. But we were surrounded with 2 million people in Namibia. And I think that's why we save it. And for the message for the other teams is if you prepare well, God will give you his trust and you will have victory at the end of the day. Young Sebo's coach, Brighton Chivandire, said his team failed to attack on time and waited until it was too late. 
a poor start um, and, and basically a lifeless first start for us. Um, yeah, you start like that, there's no way you're going to come back. We gave them a big lead at halftime. It was always going to be difficult to, to, to come back in the second half. Joshua Smallbone, the Zimbabwean team captain, said his team played well but was not in the best form. Uh, I think the early try just unsettled us. Uh, I think, you know, we just lost, uh, lost our composure in the beginning and uh, that's, yeah, that early try just hindered us from playing our, our proper game. Yeah, um, I think the second half we did well to, to come back and play, um, but we just let in a few tries at the end which let the score run away. Zimbabwe rugby union manager Siviso Made said the team was under pressure from the home fans and ended up making many errors. It's probably nerves playing at home. Uh, who knows? Uh, for the first time, I mean, these lads have been playing so well. Um, so maybe just nerves got the better of them on the day. Namibia did come in very structured. They were well prepared for us. Namibia and South Africa will represent Africa at the Junior World Rugby Trophy Tournament in Chile next year. Reporting for ATV, Robert Abmane Arare, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.